Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how I made this thank you card. It's my swap for when I go to the go on the incentive trip to Alaska, the Stamping Up incentive trip to Alaska. Um, we're invited to join swaps if we want to and there are two. There's one for cards and one for 3D projects. I'm doing both and we're invited to make 26 so that's 25 that go for swaps and one of everything that gets pinned onto display boards so that we get a chance to see everybody's swaps. This was actually inspired by the thank you card that I made for my customers this month, uh, last month rather. Um, I really really like this design and I love the colour scheme too. Um, but I had to make it turn it into a bit more because it's a swap and we are actually swapping ideas. Um, so if you've seen my, um, in fact by the time you watch this it won't be my last video, but if you saw my recent video where I was playing with um, embossing folders and cutting um, into the shapes and what have you, um, this is what this bit was inspired by. Um, so I'm going to start off with telling you, oh by the way this is all the others that I've done and before I do start I also wanted to show you these. There's that one which I experimented by putting two bows on and that's what it's like without any bows on. And I thought I'd show you those so that you could see and maybe it'll help you um, decide how you would like to do yours. Obviously it would look rather nice if they had um, um, but ribbon bows on them um, but obviously that would make it a lot more bulky for me so um, I decided against that so the uh, card pieces that you're going to be needing is and this can get a bit confusing so what I've done on mine is I've actually written on the back of where's my, my, where mine are going so first of all the card base is Gorgeous Grape, which is one of our new colours, and this measures eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches, which is 21 by 14.5 centimetres. And then there are two pieces of Whisper White, which measure three and seven eighths inches by five and a half inches, which is 9.8 by 13.9 centimetres. One's for the inside of the card, and I haven't done that on my thank you cards because it is a card front that we're swapping. I mean, that's something quite easy for um, anybody to add in if they actually want to use my swap. And that one's the for the front. You also need another piece of Whisper White, which is for the stamping. Uh, that goes underneath there. Obviously I went for the easy option rather than trying to do one piece, one piece, one piece and then butt them all together. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do it like this. Um, and this piece measures three and three quarter inches by five and three eighths inches which is 9.5 by 13.6 centimetres. And then for this purpley bit here you need two pieces of gorgeous grape which is one and which are one and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches, which is three point two by nine point five centimeters, and then you just need a scrap for the bow. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the big shot first, and then I can put that one out of the way. So what I need to do is I need to die cut one bow, and then do the embossing on these two and for the embossing I'm going to be using the petal burst embossing folder and for the bow I'm using this one here which I think is absolutely gorgeous and this is from Stitched Seasons Framelits which is going to be a, a limited edition available in August um, and these are the dies. What I really, really love about these dies are they've got the stitching on the negative and the positive. So it's like dual purpose. Um, but you have the dies for the separate leaf, the leaf, and that looks 
like um, mistletoe to me and then a flower with leaves that is a bell oh I can show you can I show you in a minute? I think I can show you that in a minute um, and the three different sh shape, shaped so, sorry three different sized shapes gorgeous and those two little bits which are those so that's that the, the special offer is this um, so that's a stamp set it's a two box stamp set so that's the bell that has the die cut with it um, this is the full size of this this has been reduced to get it onto the page but the other part of the offer is um, these watercolour pencils which is in addition to the colours that we already have um, my video that I published on the 17th of July I believe um, I demonstrated um, using watercolour pencils and using two of these um, but they're separate from this this is available as a bundle and that's separate and also with this one, although these are limited edition, this may well appear in a future catalogue. So they're going to be a special offer on as from 1st of August. Right, so let me stop talking and get on crafting. So first of all, I'll do the... Let's move this over a bit. I'll die cut the bow first. I was in the middle of doing all of these but I wanted to get my video made uh, before hubby comes home because it means I can leave the door to my studio open otherwise he feels that he has, well he does, he has to creep around if I'm making videos so rather than make him do that I get them done before he comes home. So I'll sort that one out in just a jiffy. Um, and the embossing folder. One of the nice things about this embossing folder, you don't have to make sure that your pieces are straight. I put them in so that they're sort of straight, but I don't worry unduly about them. I so, uh, need to change my platform. And I need my regular Big Shot platform, this one, but without the... Um, thin lit die adapter so there's that, that, that and it's not a dynamic embossing folder so it does need the two uh, cutting plates obviously when I was doing all of those I got everything sorted out so that it was like doing working on a uh, conveyor belt but with this one I can take my time relax and really enjoy doing it. Right, let's put that back there. Right, so there's that and that. Right, that's my piece for my stamping. Let's just take these bits out. beautiful isn't it really lovely it's really nice to have something that looks like a proper bow um, without having to be stamped so that's that that's that and I just need this now obviously my stamparatus is already set up because I knew I'd be videoing this I didn't take it apart so I know that this is in the right position and I bought this over as well because it's always that much easier to have that underneath because then you're in a nice level surface and I just popped that in there as well because I left the stamp on there whether it's necessary or not I don't know but I just did it just in case, just in case it was, no idea. <laughs> As I say, seemed like a good idea at the time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this with marker pens and I also have my uh, one of my uh, blender pens with me so that if I get the wrong colour on the wrong half then I can use this to remove the colour. In fact, I'll do something deliberately so that 
I can actually demonstrate that for you. Right, you can't really see that bit, can you? Let me see, moved myself over a bit. So you can see this bit working, you can see that. And there we go, you can see that bit as well. Right. Yep, good, good. Right, I'm going to do the purple bit first. And one of the nice things about this is... is it, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> just had a panic was it this bit that I did the purple to um, the nice thing about this if you're doing several of them once you've stamped it down obviously stamp raters if it's not dark enough you can do it again but once you've done your card and you go to put another one in there's still quite a bit of ink on here so you can still stamp another one in fact I'll show you that when I finished it and gone this pink one I mean, you still need to paint the um, stamp, but the more I did it, the more it was building up, and um, it, it surprised me a bit. Ah, now I didn't do that on purpose, but I have just touched part of the stamp with my purple that I shouldn't have done. I don't know whether you saw that, but can you see that bit there? I hope you can, but if I show you, that is nice and clean. Okay, and I'm just going to touch this bit here to lift that off. See that? There we go. Otherwise I'm going to find that I've got um, purple leaves. So there we go. So I don't have to uh, do anything deliberate. In fact, it looks as if I've got a piece there as well. Um, not that one. Try that. Yep, okay, so that's nice and clean. Yep, I thought it was. So much easier when you're using a darker colour. Okay, so let's go back to the green. Um, sorry, that was Gorgeous Grape. And this one is Granny Apple Green. Two of our new colours. I have been totally hooked on this um, Gorgeous Grape. Ever since one of my demo friends used it on a sympathy card and it looked absolutely stunning, loved it. So I started using it and um, yeah, I'm in love. Not surprisingly, I need to order another packet now because doing this amount of swaps has rather depleted my supplies. Now the difference is with this, doing it like this, and if I had this on a block and I was just holding it and painting it, I could just take it towards my mouth and blow on it, huff on it, to moisten it again. But obviously I can't do that. And I'm certainly not going to put my head down forward and give a huff on it. So we just take it over. Okay, so that's not bad going, is it? Not bad at all. So I will to give it another going over. Obviously, second time is a lot, lot easier. If I haven't published it already, there will be a, another video showing my 3D swap. Um, oops, I've gone onto that stamp again. 
um, so do watch out for that. It'll either be the video immediately before this one or immediately after. There we go. Don't think I hit anything else, did I? Thing is, it's a lot easier to check it now rather than wait until it spoiled the card. So where's the green? I'll do that bit twice, seeing as how I've taken the colour off with my blender pen. I hope you saw the video that I did where I cut the embossed layer on my card. I cut it, um, which one did I use? Oh, the hexagon. And I cut across from side to side on the lines of the actual embossing. So I finished up with like a zigzag line on the way across. The effect was really, really lovely. Um, I don't. I've never seen anybody else do it before, and I don't know of a name to give it. Uh, I can't imagine I've invented this because I don't think there's anything new in card making. I think. Oops. I think everything has already been made once now. Nothing new in card making. Right, okay, so that's going to be that, and I think it should be that that will bring my card up to the depth of colour that I really want it to be. There we go. Beautiful. So if I move this one out of the way, what I'll do, I'll just pop this one back in. Well, it's going to go in there anyway, because I'm not going to clean this on the video, I'll come back to it. So let me just show you how much this comes up. That's not bad, is it? Considering, you know, I've stamped it so that most of it would come off on that one. Right, so let's move that out of the way. And that. And now, I think all I need to do is put my card together. And I'm just using Tombow for all my gluing today. So turn that up. Oh no, put the glue on the side of the writing. Right, let me just make sure that this is clear. going to be all right. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Tweezers. I'm not decorating the inside of this. <clears throat> largely because it is a thank you card, which means whoever has this wants to write a note in it. Let me just flatten that down a bit. Now, this one needs to be adhered on here, but what I found was easiest was to put this one on the card first. Because white on white, I did find a bit of a challenge. Oh. oh, well, never mind, because that's going to be covered up anyway. Right, and I'm going to put this on first, because that's what makes getting onto there easier. I can line up the colours. 
and chances are I will I might find that these gorgeous grape pieces are just a bit wider than my cardstock. I tend to do that so that I can trim the edges so it fits perfectly. I didn't of my swaps obviously because there's just too many of them to do it for that. And as I say, you know, we are swapping ideas. Um, whilst I do my best to make it as nice as possible. But that fits pretty well, look at that. There's such a small amount around the edges that I'm not going to try and remove them. Okay, so just checking it from the back to make sure that it's all going on straight. I did find with some of the swaps that they weren't on straight here. So I put them, um, used my guillotine and put them in there and just sliced off the bits. Um, Little bits like this is quite quite easy to cut off. There we go, tiny little piece. There we go. Now that should be so much easier to pop on here rather than trying to get white on white. Okay, so that's going to line up nicely. And then I just need to do my bow. I'll bring my scrap back just in case I need to uh, blot it if it's if I put too much glue on there. That's got a little bit. Did I? I thought I bought my little brush out because I can see some hairy bits on that. Um, I'll put it away again. If you find you get hairy bits on your die cuts, just go over them with a toothbrush, especially bought for the purpose. And try it from both sides as well. for the glue to come through which could prove to be very handy if it just allows it to come through nice and slowly that would please me no end I will give it a little bit of a dab though on my scrap paper Just 
move that a little bit of glue out off. I mean, it does dry clear, but it dries shiny. So I'd rather it wasn't on there. There we go. So there we go. There's today's project. A swap for my incentive trip. I hope you like it and I hope you give it a try. Very, very easy. Um, it's quite a lot for a thank you card. Um, I was really happy with this one with my little flowers on there. Um, but I needed something a bit more involved to swap ideas. So there we go. That's what this one is. Um, many thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the box below the video. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that I featured here, there'll be a link to my 24-7 online shop in the box below. And this set here, don't forget, that will be available as from 1st of August. If Also in the box below, I will put the measurements of all the uh, card pieces that you're going to need to make this card. And this time I've been able to do the metric as well. Um, so I'm pleased about that. I don't like letting you down and not being able to give you metric measurements, which I've done twice recently, and I do apologise about that. Um, and if you've enjoyed my video and would like to be notified each time I upload a new video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And finally, Please don't forget that I have set up a Facebook group for uh, crafters to share their projects. Uh, I started it because um, a lot of uh, crafters send me pictures of the creations that they've made and I've always felt such a shame that it's only me that gets to see them. So I've set up the Facebook group which is called Jambi Happy Crafting so that we can all share and we can all see what everybody else is doing. Um, it's a great group and I'd love to see you over there. I'll put a link to the Facebook group in the box below. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.